hey guys welcome back and in this tutorial we are going to take a look at how we can export our textures from substance painter and render our objects in marmosa toolbag so i have this x model which i got from quixel bridge and imported it in substance painter with all the textures so let's export our textures and move to marmoset so go to file and hit export let's select the folder first now go to output template and select this document channel plus normal and ao with alpha Take any file type, I'm going to take the PNG and texture size 4K. You can take anything you want and padding to dilation plus transparent. Hit export. So our textures are exported. Let's go to Marmoset. So we are in the Marmoset now. Let's import our model. So click on this import model icon and go to your folder, import your model. Now we have this material library here. You can click on this plus icon to create more materials. But we just need one for now. So select this and drop it on this object. And here in the panels we have slots to import our texture maps. So go to normal and click here. And select your OpenGL normal map. Import it. And it will reflect in your viewport. Here in the albedo, click on this slot and import your base color. In the roughness, import your roughness. In the metalness, import your metallic. And go to this occlusion here and, and select this occlusion. Click on the slot and import your AO map. If you are working on specular and glossiness, so you can go to this microsurface and change it to gloss. And same for the reflectivity, go to this metalness and change it to specular. Now in the roughness map and metalness map, go to this setting icon and make sure you have unchecked this RGB color space. If you have any opacity map, go to transparency and choose any method. Then you can import your alpha map. And for emission, click on this emission map and you can import your emission map here. Since we have imported our texture maps, let's set up the scene. So select your model and deselect this skull back faces. Go to sky and here you can change if you want to keep the mode to sky or color so i'll change it to ambient sky go to preset and you can change your hdri image I'm going to take this one. Now decrease the backdrop brightness to 0 0.01 or 0 0.02. Maybe 0 0.03. Now there are two ways to create lights. You can go to scene and in the add object, you can go to light section and create some lights. Or you can just click on your light editor and place your lights anywhere you want so let's change the camera first i'm going to take the top view you can also go to this split icon and split it vertically and change this one to perspective and this one to top Now go to scene, add object and go to light. Now select this direction light. 
so we have a top light place it here go to top and change it to front like this go to scene and add object again light and create a spotlight or directional light go to top view and place this light here give it a rotation press e to rotate like this and place it here again go to front view and scene go to object and light again take a spotlight or directional light go to top view again i'm going to create a three point lighting system rotate it like this and place it here go to front view again and add one more light go back to top view place it here and rotate it You can select the lights and change their intensity. Change the color as well. So we have set up our lights if you want to add a shadow select your object and go to scene go to add object and you can take this shadow catcher you can scale it as much as you want press r to scale and you will see your shadow here you can also go to lights and disable this cast shadow Keep it enabled only for this key light. Now let's go to the camera setup. Enable your safe frame. And change your exposure a little bit let's add 1.1 or maybe 1.2 contrast to 1.01 or or 1.002 should be fine add a little bit of sharpen 0.3 enable the vignette to 0 0.4 and also increase the softness change the grain value to 0 
now go to render setup and select this use cascade also enable the ambient occlusion enable this diffuse and specular also this local reflection you can change your resolution of render here let's take Four zero nine six by four zero nine six. You know, it's strength to one, and I'm also going to increase these samples to one zero two four. You can change the render output directory from here, and from here you can change the resolution of your videos such as turntable or if you have added any kind of animation so we are pretty much done with our scene let's go to render and click on this all images so our render is done and as you can see we have created this portfolio ready render in Mamoset with some basic lighting and rendering techniques So we are pretty much done with our rendering. So it was an easy method of exporting your textures from Substance Painter and rendering your objects in Mamoset Toolback.